Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool no mythic team you can use for this Lost Pages world event, as well as go over the scoring system. Always make sure you get and apply this medal if you can. Medal of Might, really cool, plus 160% skull and spell damage for all the troops in the current event. And remember, these things can stack as well, so if you get more of these eventually, you can have more than one of those in your medal set and get some absolutely insane amounts of skull and spell damage. So we're going to try and take advantage of that. So let's go to the shop and grab yourselves a, a tier one as a standard. Enchant all allies at the start of battle. Only applies to this event, but still really useful. And all other tiers are available as well. Get whichever you require. You get loads of stuff along the way. More tokens, different potions, more troops, more event sigils, more gold, more stuff. All very nice indeed. But let's uh, take a look at that team now and the scoring. The scoring, there are six battles you can encounter during this event. Erska Savage, Iron Velasta, Prince Baroslav, Erskula, King Mikhail and Kurundara. The battles are entirely random, but they all have an equal chance of appearing on the map. And you can earn the following rewards for each victory. Erska Savage gives you four pages, Iron Velasta five pages, Prince Baroslav six pages, Erskula eight pages, King Mikhail ten pages and Kurundara 12 pages. Each page is worth one point and battles will drop a variable number of pages on average about 1.18 times the base amount. And as the battles get harder, they will increase the amount of pages they give by 25%. So basically, you always do the highest rarity battle first. In this case, Kurundara. After that, it'd be King Mikhail. And that is legendary, the same as Ursula, but King Mikhail does give more points. So always do King Mikhail first. And if you get two of the same troop, that are the highest ones you can possibly fight, then make sure you fight the one with the highest level. Right now, on to the team. Going to go for a Sentinel class team here. Ruthless Defense, King Mikhail, Erskula, and the awesome Theodorovich. The weapon, really, really cool. Available in the Soul Forge as well right now. Explodes magic plus one, brown gems. Grants a random status effect to all Erskaya allies. Then summons a Erskaya troop. And it has shielding as well, which is really nice. As soon as you cast it, you get a barrier at the same time. In this class, we can have some really nice stuff. Gain three to all skills if in first position, which we are. Reduce damage from skulls by 40% and a 25% chance to barrier a random ally at the start of my turn. Regarding the champion talents, all useful as well. Impact, inflict stun when enemies deal skull damage to me. Protector, gain three magic if using a shield, which we are. Vanguard, get a barrier at the start of battle. Razor armor, add 20% of armor to skull damage. So as if we're not doing enough <coughs> skull damage already due to those increases from the uh, metal, we're going to add another 20% of armor to skull damage as well. Rock solid, gain a barrier when matching brown gems. Banishment, really useful. Dispel all enemies on four or five gem matches. And the always handy fortitude, immune to stun, poison, disease, death mark, lycanthropy and devour. So that's the hero, really nice. And King Mikhail explodes a row, does magic-based damage to all enemies and deal nine more if I'm enraged. And getting him enraged is super easy. You just collect some brown, which you need anyway to charge him up. Ursula is just here really to give us a 50% start in mana on all our troops and can chip in with that scatter damage if we need to. And remember, that is boosted by the medal at the same time. But the key to this team is the awesome Theodorovich. I said as soon as this troop came out how awesome it was. Absolutely love it. That creative wish gem when my turn begins is just fantastic. When you explode or destroy a wish gem, they can't be matched. One of five things happen. You get all mana to one of your troops, to two of your troops, three of your troops, all of your troops, or all of your troops and all enemy troops. So it's only the last one that can really work against you in any way, shape or form. And if that did work that way against you then all your team is charged up at the same time but what you do with this with a troop, troop like king mikhail is then explode a row taking out the wish gem that theodorovich created and repeat the process like i say 80 percent of the time is going to be completely and entirely in your favor and you'll be unbelievably unlucky for it to go against you constantly it's just generally just not going to happen so yeah and as well as that with Theo, he also had a summon. So if something did go wrong somehow at the beginning and you lost 
the troop somehow then yeah you've got a summon at the same time and we've got a summon with this one as well so it's got a case of just uh just repeating these two really and chipping in with this one if we need to you can change that weapon to a damage weapon if you like but it is nice to have the extra option on the explodey gems for me and i do like the way it doesn't actually clash mana with king mikhail which is important so the banner for this i'm going to go for a mushroom banner from a manathrax plus two green plus one drown minus one red let's jump in and have a battle or six Right, so we're looking for a brown if we can, of course, because not only do we get the rock solid barrier, but that charges up our King Mikhail. At the early stages, this is going to do plenty of damage. You can just cast on anybody you like, but as you can see, I took out that West Gem and everybody is charged up, just ready to go again. Because we took out that West Gem. We've got 15 pages there. So King Mikhail is the next highest value troop here. Give the most pages, 10 pages. Again, looking for, for brown if we can. Got it automatically. Didn't have to actually do anything. Anywhere will do. All the while, you're knocking out the enemies in one go. No need to take out the wish gem. But it's probably important still to do that sometimes because some troops are going to have a summon sometimes, which you may not have expected. So we'll grab that. And a little bit of that. Like I say, just for fun. We're all charged anyway, so there's actually no need to take out the Rush Gem here, so you'd cast that somewhere else to eliminate that chance of, that 20% chance of charging up the enemy at the same time. Well, I've jumped forward, show how these battles, how to handle these battles when they get a bit tougher, but still really, really cool for this team. And look for brown if we can, if there's no brown. I'll oh, just add some brown up here, so we'll grab that. When you cast this, you just cast it in a row where it takes out a wish gem. And chances are it's going to go very much in your favour. Look, we had King Mikhail ready to cast again absolutely immediately because of that wish gem. And we could have just repeated the process. Do another King Mikhail then. Hopefully we'll get a Kurandara up in a minute. That's above level 200 at the moment, so that's a nice meaty battle. I always take advantage of these when they're there. We get all that extra skull damage. Really cool from the old <coughs> medals take out the wish gem there we go presents for everybody because Theodorovich I told everyone how awesome that troop was ages ago some people didn't listen others did the sensible people did we got any brown not really we got any yellow doesn't matter because we're ready next round anyway so let's take a skull bash Take out that wish gem. Even if the enemy got some troops charged out of it, it's not really going to make, make a difference because it's just not going. It's only going to happen now and again when you get unlucky like that. And even if they did get charged, it means all our troops are charged as well, and we've got a chance of actually repeating with ours. Let's uh, get that instead. Yeah, let's do this. Take out those wish gems. King Mikhail was ready to go again. Come on, where's Kurandara? Give me Kurandara. I want to show how this team works. On the meaty stuff. Not got any yellow, but we'll get that for the weapon. Can cast that if you like. Pick up those status effects, really handy. Activate the wish gem at the same time. Let's take out that wish gem. All our troops are ready to go again. Come on, Kurandara, where are you? Ah. Oh. We'll bash Prince Baroslav around their face first. If that's what he wants, that's what he'll get. Take out the wish gem. Come on, this team's wiping people out too quick at the moment. Need a higher level opponent. Do it that way. Give him a four match. Oh, come on. Where's Kurandara? Where are you hiding? 
charge straight away. <laughs> it's ludicrous. Oh, what, what the hell? A whole load of Verska savages. Ready to go. Everybody charge it again. Ludicrous. Level 114, King Mikhail. Oh, ready already. They survived! Well, we'll finish them off with the other troop then. <laughs> Not a problem. Hey, Kurandawa, level 235. Let's take a look at this. Lots of stats. Over 500 look, on those uh, stats for the enemy. Skull hits are always good for this. Still do a huge amount of damage. Won't take much for the weapon to get up. And explode those brown gems. Just activated the presence at the same time. Let's cast this. Take out the wish gem. There you go. We got presence back. King Mikhail's ready to go again. Take out the wish gem again. And just repeat. And they've got 10 life left and they're dead. Mainly because of the awesome Theodorovich. Obviously, the damage is enhanced by the medals and stuff, but the point is just how well and how good Theodorovich is with uh, King Mikhail. Or any really explodey thing, but the good thing about King Mikhail is the way it works is because you can target that wish gem, you're pretty much guaranteed that you're going to take it out, which is very cool indeed. So we've taken out the wish gem already with the weapon, but Theodorovich is going to be ready next round. Anyways, so we'll cast this. Oh, and we killed him anyway. Obviously the wish gem would have been there next round. Yes, yeah, let's do a few more. It's mind-bogglingly fast, this thing. <laughs> Ready to go again next round. Could have just done the same thing again. Lost pages, we are finding plenty of them. Ready already. Take out the wish gem. There you go. Done. <laughs> this is insane speed. Forget ludicrous speed. This is beyond ludicrous speed. This is like ludicrous insane speed. Can't get yellow or brown, so we'll... Oh, we'll cast that anyway. I think the logic was charged up. Super duper easy. Oh, lots of brown there, so it's going to be ready straight away. Take out the wish. If they survived, wouldn't have mattered. We would have got them next round anyway because King Macau was ready again. Super fast, super easy, super insane, ludicrous speed. Is that even a thing? Well, I think it is now, because I just said it. Yeah, but remember those medals stack. The reason I'm hitting so hard is because those medals stack. Two of the medals of might on here, and a badge one as well. It still gives, it gives an extra 40%. There you go, they survived, but it doesn't matter. They're going to be gone. Done, and we were ready again, look, next round, could have just done it again. Looks a lordy, this is rather groovy and fun. Even though my voice tone then was not filled with glory and fun, believe me it is. <laughs> just Theodorovich, I told people he was awesome. Obviously, even more awesome with uh, troops like Zul Goth and that. You can just cast that in the same way as King Mikhail's getting charged up. The same thing can happen with a Zul Goth or a Janet or Sithrask. Just instant charge, instant death. Madness! Well, anyway, I think I'm out of sigils. Oh, I've got two more. I'm carrying on. I'm having too much fun today. 
No one will probably watch all the video, but I don't care. I'm having too much fun to stop. What we got? Oh, I might as well cast this then. Get the benefits of those status effects as well. Bash out that wish gem. There we go. Ready to go again instantly. I well, could have done that wish gem at the bottom then, but no need because I knew I was going to kill the enemy. But if you're not sure you're going to kill the enemy, then go down to the lower part if you're in the same position and take out that wish gem for a chance to do it again. Right. Last one now. Here we go. We'll get yellow then if we can't get brown. All good. Oh, an angel gem at the same time. We'll definitely have some of that. We got charged up. There King Mikhail thinks he was about to charge. Nah. <laughs> All about to cast. Ah, too much fun. But there it is. There's a the team. There's the video. If you enjoyed it, bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.